Grootsy, the strawberries from here in Lucerne, Switzerland. And you can see behind me, the, oh, this bridge is very old. And in 1993, it was burned down. And also you can see the tower back behind here. It used to be a dungeon. And so what I thought I'd cover today, I would cover something like this. The old bridges we cross. And you know, I was, I was talking to a friend of mine, and also even my life as well, because most of our problems come from our relationships. Relationships with our mothers, our fathers, our brothers, our sisters, our aunts, our uncles, our grandmothers. And oftentimes, they profoundly affect us emotionally. And I remember when I was like 15, I moved in with my grandmother. And I'd have horrible nightmares about my father and how he treated me and the, the emotional stuff. And so it was good for me to be away because it kind of helped me clear myself, clear my mind, address some of my emotional issues and I'd have nightmares and stuff like that and even today you know visiting our parents our relatives will oftentimes trigger old emotional hurts and so I always say work on yourself you know and I've seen it so many times before when you start healing yourself and addressing your emotions addressing your pains about what you feel and how you internalize what happened back then because oftentimes our parents, they do the best they can based on their hurts, their fears, their emotional things. And you know, it's so crazy when you interact with them and they start throwing up things that happened that you did or, or happened when you were in fifth, fifth grade or 15 years old or 19 years old as if they never let it go because they keep crossing the old bridge. And so what we want to do within our lives and I always tell you, if you want to heal yourself, go back to family reunions, cross the old bridges. But what we want to do is burn down the old ones and create new ones. And the way you create new bridges in your life is heal you. Address the pains, address the memories, address the hurts. And as you do that, you can build a new bridge between you and them. Although my father was killed in a car wreck in 1992, I still build a new bridge between me and my father because I realized my father loved me. He loved me the way he knew how. Based on his hurts, his emotions, and today my relationship with him is totally different. Now I'm a father of uh, two boys and a girl. And of course, I did the best I could then, but I had problems, you know. I acted similar, not as bad as my father. And so I passed down some of the stuff. And so, although I've healed myself, I worked on my guilt, I worked on my pain, I worked on my stuff. As I start interacting with my kids, they know that they have a different father, but they also see that I still have pieces pieces I hadn't seen or isn't triggered or isn't found and oftentimes my oldest son Adam he'd say dad you're you're doing this or doing that and I was like oh really then I'd work on it sometimes it's hard to see our own stuff so we have our gifts our gifts of our loved ones so what we want to do in our life is to build a new and better us building new bridges to our children our moms and our dads and realize this they have the right to be miserable, they have the right to be upset, and they have the right to be sad and whatever it is they do. But the main thing about you is heal you and love them even when they're in pain. Love them even when they're doing their stuff and don't take it so personal. What bothers you is yours and what bothered them is theirs. Make peace with it because if you don't, you could find yourself in the dungeon all alone by yourself. We don't want to get it be in the dungeon we want to clean out our dungeons, clean out our pains, and make peace with ourselves. As we make peace with ourselves, this is the craziest part. They start to change too. Doors start to open. They can sense things are going on, and they may want to suck you in. But you tap until you're not going in. The old dungeon, the old ways of thinking. Make peace with yourself, make peace with your relatives, because it is all relative to you. This is Robert Smith. And the problem is really apparent, and it is apparently you. Robert Smith, Adi.